How do you make low poly models? Well, first you need a design. For best results, you want a reference sheet that has a straight on view of the model's front, back, and sides. That way you can just follow the contours of the design on each side and it will look correct when it's all combined together. By the way, this model belongs to Fia, a fellow YouTuber and streamer who asked me to make a retro version of her avatar, which I agreed to do. As long as the shape of the model looks recognizable from a distance, you're pretty much good to go. Small details don't really matter. The models looking too blocky? Just use Use Fong Shading aka Smooth Shading to make it look more organic. For texturing, first start by establishing the base color of the model. I'm using a technique called texture painting. I have a tutorial if you want to learn more, link below. Use flat colors as a base for the hair, skin, and clothing, and once you're happy with the way it looks, you can start adding in the details. For low poly models, you can use anything from super high quality HD textures to small blocky textures, and it can still look great. In this case, Fia was interested in the retro look, and so I used a fairly small 256 by 256 texture to give it that pixelated PS1 and 64 look. One trick I've learned when it comes to details is to first roughly apply colors where you want them to be, and then use a smudging or blurring tool to smooth out the transition from one color to the next. This makes for much nicer looking textures. In low poly modeling, textures are how you create the illusion of extra detail. Notice how I use dark lines in the hair to suggest layers, or how I've added tiny specks of purple and blue in the irises to give them that extra bit of life. Here, little details do matter, so take your time. After texturing, all that's left is rigging for animation. Using standard weight painting techniques can cause weird looking deformations in low poly models, and so one thing I like to do is make each body part a separate piece and treat them like limbs on a doll. This was a very common technique in older video games and I felt it was appropriate for a retro style model. And that's pretty much all I know about low poly modeling. Go check out Fia's channel, she's got a great personality and a lot of fun content. Link below. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, bell, follow me on Twitter, and have a nice day.